to walk with knowing to run. You better count your money. While sitting at the table, every time to count it when the deal is done. You got to know when to fold, know when to walk, know when to walk away, know when to run. You better count your money while you're sitting at the table. Every time enough to count it when the deal is done. <clears throat> Donald Dan, what's up? <laughs> Chaser? Happy National American Beer Day, everyone. <laughs> hey, FYI, did you know that Anheuser Busch is no longer an American owned company? Bud Light and Budweiser are owned by the South Americans now, everyone. Did you know that? So on National American Beer Day, make sure you go out and you find yourself a local brewery, which we found here in beautiful Augusta, Georgia. I'm partaking on two types of ale here. We've got the Dynamite Brown Ale from Savannah River Brewery. We've been partaking in. I've also got this Westaboo Amber Ale, which is my personal favorite. We've been partaking in. So happy National American Beer Day. Make sure you go out and you find yourself an American beer. Not Budweiser, not Anheuser-Busch. Unfortunately, they are no longer American-owned companies. So do your research when you go try your new American beers. We got anybody out there, Matt? We do. Olivia, we got anybody out there? Yep. Chef Greg checking in. Chef Greg, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Test one, test two. Oh, my baby's coming in. Your baby baby my or baby's my wife baby? My wife and my baby. Cool. My parents are going to stay with me for two weeks. Hey, Mom. <laughs> I love you. They just sold their house, so they're going to stay with me for two weeks. So you guys may see a picture of them soon. What is t what's today's date? 27. Today is October 27th, 2017. It is 1.14 Eastern Standard Time. We are here in Augusta, Georgia, the worldwide headquarters of Rectech Grills. It is our weekly live cooking demonstration slash show slash party, fun day Friday, we call it, or uh, Freaky Friday, as our uh, next door warehouse folks call it, Freaky Friday. Um, because of the high cholesterol epidemic in America, we have decided to make today's fun day Friday all vegetables. Um, the meat that I did cook has already been eaten, so we will not show you guys that. But we're going to do all vegetables all day today um, with most of these vegetables. Somebody give me a mat. I got one. Who's dirty? Most of these vegetables, all of these vegetables were all cooked on the Rectech grill mat. And to, this is our today. Go ahead and make it. This is our today's. Uh, feature product is $14.99 a piece or $27.95 for two. And this item alone has free shipping on our website. Uh, it's a Teflon coated mesh mat that is dishwasher safe, stick resistant. Now it's not going to last you forever. It'll last you about 20 to 25 washes and then you're going to want to replace it. Uh, but these things are awesome. They're crucial for me. I use them literally for everything. Um, when I'm at the house, I prepare my food on top of it. I use it to transport my food into the grill. I cook my food on it, and then I use it to transport my food off of the grill uh, and then uh, plate. So this is a crucial. Um, this is a crucial item for me at my house. I've probably got six or seven of these just lying around. Uh, my wife also uses them for biscuits, uh, bacon, cookies, um, anything. Now I don't like to use the Yoshi mat uh, because the Yoshi mat tends to restrict a lot of airflow. I uh, also don't like to use pans or anything because that restricts a lot of airflow. Remember, the uh, Rectech grills, the pellet grills in general, you know, they all use convection cooking, uh, so it's like an oven. You don't want to restrict any of that airflow. Uh, so this is an item that if you want to cook any vegetables, you want to cook bacon, shrimp, flaky fish, um, anything. Here, Matt. Sorry, everyone. 
Jody, we're at work. We are at work, and this is Rec Tech Rooms. I'm gonna give you American. I'm gonna give you that back. These colors don't run. Woo! Sorry, guys. It is not five o'clock. I am fired up about these vegetables. Jody, does the mat work with pizza? The not. mat does work with pizza. Remember, it doesn't restrict much air. Um, but it, with raw pizza, um, I have cooked a couple of raw pizzas on this. The the dough tends to you know fall into the crevices uh, and kind of cook on it. So. Um, the frozen pizzas work perfect on it. I actually uh, cooked a turkey on this the day before yesterday. So we prepared the turkey inside the house, used it to transport it into the grill, cooked it on the grill, and then used this to transport the turkey into the house. Uh, so that's what we got going on. I want to do a couple shout outs. Uh, first and foremost, I want to shout out my boy Diamond Dave Gangle for sending us this beautiful, high quality flask that he sent us. Me specifically, but I'm sharing it with the whole office. So uh, I want to give a shout out to him. Diamond Dave is actually located in Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, so if you guys have any um, jewelry needs, if you, uh, Greg, Chef Greg actually sent his watch to uh, Diamond Dave and, <laughs> and he fixed it within like a couple of days. Uh, Greg said that he had a, a quote here in town. It would take like two weeks. Uh, and double the money. Uh, Dave got it out in four days uh, and it was super cheap. So shout out to my boy, my friend, Diamond Dave Gangle. Thank you so much. You didn't have to send us anything. I know I joke you know, every week about sending me a bracelet that Ray has, uh, but you didn't have to send us anything. Thank you, thank you for sending us this blast that we are sharing today with my favorite lemonade liquid. Uh, what else we got? Like I said, today is American Beer Day. Uh, we also want to, to introduce you to our new spices. Our There's six right there. I think I'm missing one. Am I missing mine? No, nope, Jody's, Ross, Ray's, Colden's, Ron's. We're missing... Ben. Is that the one we're missing, Olivia? Yeah. And then we also have the Ben's Heifer Dust. Now, I'm partial to, of course, the Jody's. But um, my personal favorite is the Ben's Heifer Dust. So you guys, they're, all of these seasonings are great on everything. They all contain the essential salt, pepper, garlic, uh, paprika that goes great on everything. Um, but uh, you guys get them and try. Sorry, everybody's at the full behind y'all. Y'all can't even see it. But they are literally great on everything. They're available on our website, rectechgrills.com, $9.99 a piece. Uh, also, we have a few of the old rubs on closeout, so if you're a fan of those, we are out of the Rasa um, but if you are a fan of those, go ahead and pick those up. What else we got? I wanted to shout out to our boys at Lane's Barbecue for hooking us up last week with the gigantic spread. If you guys haven't seen, go on our Facebook Live video for last week and check them out. Uh, Ryan and Brian uh, are both class acts. They're Georgia boys, and we really appreciate them um, coming up here and just cooking for us and uh, having fun and fellowship and whatnot. Um, we also wanted to announce that uh, Ray shot a real cooking show the other day, the Very Veer Show. Uh, we wanted to let everybody know in the Augusta, Georgia market, the Columbus, Georgia market, Macon and Savannah, Very Vera does air on there, and that show will air between the 7th of November, the 12th of November, 9th through the 12th. Uh, also, if you're in Myrtle Beach or Charleston, South Carolina, you can also check out that Very Vera show. Uh, hey, Ben. Hey, bud. Come here and take a sip of this, please. What is it? I don't know. Bourbon or whiskey or something. Yeah, come on. It's lemonade. Carlo uh, also, Casanova. Hey, what's up, Carlo? Uh, shout out to Carlo. He is actually competing in the Jack Daniels Open this weekend. So good luck uh, to you, buddy. We really appreciate that. Um, also, like I said, uh, Wilmington, North Carolina, and Indianapolis, Indiana. Uh, so if you guys are in those markets, very the very Vera show uh, airs uh, featuring Ray November 7th through the 12th. My man. I'm drinking. Please. Uh, and we wanted to send a shout out to uh, Vera Stewart. Thank you so much for allowing us uh, to do that show with you. If you guys don't like, if you don't already like her on Facebook or Instagram, search for The Very Vera Show. That's V-E-R-Y, V-E-R-A Show, Very Vera Show. So y'all go and like her. She's also gonna be giving away uh, an RT680 
uh, and a sauce and spice bundle. So that will be an easy way for you guys to win either one of those grills. So please go and check her out. Um, just got a message here. We will be having a Facebook Live on Tuesday to decide the winner of our company con costume <laughs> contest. So that is a announcement. So if you guys want to check us out in our garb, our Halloween garb on Tuesdays, um, come and check us out on uh, Tuesday. I'm not. What, about what time? Oh, At, yeah. What do you What do you guys? What would you draw? I drew the werewolf. So it's going to be very easy for me to dress up. Ben, what did you get? That's a secret. Okay, so Ben's is a secret. Mine's it's going to be fun. I know what it is. But yeah. it's not, so we drew names. It's not PG. Everybody had to draw a name out of a hat. Nobody gets to decide what the costume is. Hey, so on Tuesday, we're going to go Facebook Live. You guys will get to decide who did the best job of dressing up. And I don't know, winner, winner will get something, maybe some cash. And then we'll do a giveaway for you guys at that point in time, too. There's a baby in here. That's your baby. This is my baby. I'm going to introduce my son. This is John Dillon. Hey, buddy. He's seven months old, and he is the greatest thing that's ever happened to me. So, <laughs> he just woke up from a nap. He's, he's checking everybody out. But he, isn't he the cutest damn baby you've ever seen in your life? Look at it. He's so sweet. He's just the sweetest thing. <laughs> Pitmaster in the making, everybody. So let me hand him back off. All right, so we don't lose anybody. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to prep a few things. Let me get some gloves on. So we cooked carrots. We've cooked corn. We've cooked broccoli. We've cooked uh, cauliflower. We cooked baby bok choy. We cooked tomatoes. We did uh, okra. We did acorn squash. We did spaghetti squash. And we also did romaine lettuce. So most of all of this was cooked at 400 degrees on the rec tech. Uh, but I'm going to show you guys how I prep a few things. Uh, we did cowboy potatoes. So I've got these small uh, yellow potatoes. Um, maybe gold. Maybe they're called golden. So essentially all I did, a half, a half, and then another half. And that's, uh, what is that, an eighth? Cut them into eighths. And I rubbed them down with the new Coldens, freaking Greek, and olive oil. Cooked them at 400 degrees. Uh, and when I cut, when you cut them this small, they only take about 45 minutes uh, to get good and soft. So that's essentially all I did was put them in a bowl, olive oil, Coldens, freaking Greek. Tossed them, threw them on my cooking mat, and I put them on the inside of the grill. So there's that. Uh, let's do the corn. I've done corn on here before, uh, but the easiest way to take. Uh, you grab the silt at the top, you split it in half, and you go down. So that's easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Where's Matt at? He hates to uh, say that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Matt hates that. So there we go with that. The way personally I do my corn, you got a lot of you guys are going to be like, oh my God, that's so gross. Uh, but I actually will uh, put it in aluminum foil. I will put some chili powder on it, and I'll also put some mayonnaise in there. Uh, I know you guys are like, whoa, mayonnaise, but it really, you know, mayonnaise is just essentially fat or, you know, kind of like butter. Um, but that's how I do mine. You can also just put butter. I used uh, Ben's heifer dust on this. Ben's salt, pepper, garlic, parsley, a good all purpose. Uh, again, I wrapped this in aluminum foil with the butter uh, and the Ben's heifer dust, cooked it at 400 degrees for about an hour, okay? So that's essentially how we did that. Shout out to Chef Greg for sharpening my knives. He noticed that they were a little dull and he hooked me up. I really appreciate that, Greg. Uh, so those are those two things. What else we got here? All right, romaine hearts. These are also something that you can grill. Um, a lot of folks uh, like to put the char marks on them. Me, um, I'm gonna stick to the 400 degrees. What I did was, is I went outside and I sprinkled olive oil all over it just so I wouldn't make a mess. I put some Ben's heifer dust on it. We put it in the grill at 400 degrees for about 45 minutes. Um, it didn't wilt or burn the leaves, uh, but it did cook it, you know, and it does a good job. Um, you can you want to leave it whole uh, because, you know, of course, if you cut that, these things are going to start coming apart on you on your grill. So leave it whole. Uh, that way it cooks uh, a little bit better for you. Uh, secondly, third or fourthly, acorn squash. Yeah, you can grill acorn squash. Absolutely. 
All right, so just be very careful when you're splitting these. Um, it will give you trouble uh, if you don't have a sharp knife. It is kind of thick like a, um, a pumpkin, so. But essentially, cut it in half. Grab yourself a good spoon and scrape it out just like, hey Connor, will you bring that trash can over to me? Just like your pumpkin. I mean, it smells and looks like a pumpkin, okay? And what we did, I sprinkled this with, I believe I sprinkled it with Ray's Front Row Master Blend today. And I put, I don't know, probably a, a, a cube of butter, about three quarters the size of that hole in there. Cooked it at 400 degrees for about one hour. And I'll show you guys how that turned out. I'm just prepping everything right now. Let me get a little bit of prep juice. Shout out to Ray. Hopefully he's watching this. He should be out of the deer stand by now. Spaghetti squash. Yes, you can grill spaghetti squash and it's delicious. So, the same thing. Cut it in half. Remember, just be very careful when you're cutting it in half. It will give you a little bit of a trouble because it is a thick uh, vegetable. But again, just, just like that pumpkin. And take everything out. Uh, put a little bit of olive oil on it, put a little cube of butter on the inside, and sprinkle it with that Vins heifer dust. Uh, one hour at 400 degrees. Easy, easy, easy. And I've already got these done, so I'll show you guys in just a little bit. Don't fret. A lot of people at the office, when I showed up with this, they were like, what the heck is that? Looks like an overgrown garlic. This is what's called a baby bok choy. Um, a lot of stir fry uh, that you find uh, in the store is going to have that baby bok choy in it. They're going to cut off the green parts and only give you um, the white. So uh, a lot of people will leave it whole. Me, I do like to cut it a little bit and open it up. 400 degrees for about an hour, hour and 15 minutes. This is how I will cook it. And I'll leave that little part whole. Sprinkle it with a little olive oil, uh, your favorite uh, seasonings. Um, just be careful because, you know, if you, if you turn the grill up too high, these will burn. Um, but the meat is really what you want to eat. Uh, let's see, I grilled peaches today. Um, fruit is great to grill because it brings out all the sugar. So essentially, I just grilled them like this. Remember, watch out for that pit. There's no easy way to kind of do the peach I've found today. And then some people will, you know, will cut them in half, put those great grill marks on them. But I cooked these on the searing kit, 500 degrees, about 25 minutes, okay? So they got good grill marks on them. What else we got? Uh, you guys have seen me do cabbage before. It's easy, don't overthink it. Yes, you can grill cabbage if, if you're freaking out over there. What you wanna do is you wanna core it, and just like the uh, <coughs> acorn squash uh, and the spaghetti squash, you'll just put pack it with butter, season it up. Usually takes you know about an hour, hour and 20 minutes at 400 degrees. Um, but just remember, just peel the outside leaves off because they will burn and wilt. So that was that. Uh, what else we got? And then these beautiful carrots that I got this morning. Shout out to Kroger for having them. I cooked these on the searing kit at 500 degrees. Um, imagine that this mat is the searing kit. I always put the searing kit on the right-hand side of the grill. And your right, uh, your right, my left. And essentially, I put them on the searing kit, just like that, give them good grill marks. Uh, they cooked at 500 degrees for about 45 minutes, uh, and it gave them great color. Uh, I just cleaned them up a little bit, easy peasy, right? So don't overcomplicate things, guys. Um, anything that you can think that you can put on the grill, you can. Don't worry about it. Uh, but this was my tool for the day. It really helped me out um, with everything. Now, what do I do when I go to cook? I clean up the fire pot and I changed my foil. That's exactly what I did today. I stuck my hand in the fire pot, I got all of that ash out, uh, a few unburnt pellets, got a good clean fire pot. The reason why we want a good clean fire pot is good airflow, uh, and so we can have a consistent cook. That's what it's all about, having a consistent cook. And then of course, since we cooked a bunch of fatty uh, foods last week, uh, we definitely needed to change the foil, so we used brand new foil. Now, because um, 
The vegetables don't have a lot of fat in them. They're not dripping down. I can actually use that foil next week uh, with whatever I cook. No matter if I turn it up high or cooking on low, uh, there's no fat on there. So we can, we don't have to worry about changing the foil next week. Okay. So let me show you guys. But uh, time and temp, most of this stuff cooked at 400 degrees for one hour. Okay. Uh, let me give a little, little prep juice. Everybody's walking around here with beers. Ugh. I'm only doing this because Dave sent this flask. If he hadn't sent this flask, we wouldn't be able to drink today. Ugh. Jesus. <laughs> Ooh. That's why my wife's here because she's going to take me home. <laughs> so I'm not driving. <laughs> Don't drink and drive, everyone. Uh, and, uh, before I forget to, this is one of my favorite vegetables. If you're uh, southern, if you're, um, I don't know if they're prevalent up north or out west, but this is what is called okra. Um, it's, it tends to be slimy. A lot of people like to boil it. Me, I grilled it today. Uh, 400 degrees for about an hour. Like I said, we sprinkled a little bit of olive oil on it, Ben's heifer dust. Um, a lot of folks here at the office do not like them because they are slimy, but this tends to dry it out a little bit. Makes it a little bit easier to eat. Freaking, oh my God. But if you like okra, try pickled okra uh, in your Bloody Marys. It's amazing. So they're not that slimy. Um, but it is good. So let me show you guys the spread. I'm going to forget about the broccoli and okra. Okay? Cauliflower. I mean cauliflower. <laughs> I'm an idiot. These were whole cauliflowers. Um, you can see the size. Uh, about a half dollar size. And those will cook at 400 degrees for about an hour. These smaller, um, with the broccoli, the same thing. They're all about the same size, consistent size, but these little guys are my favorite because they got a little crunch on the outside. Uh, we put um, Ron's uh, kicking espresso on these, and it made them awesome. So, But the first thing I want to show you guys is uh, how you scoop out your spaghetti squash, and your acorn squash. Ben, our GM, is the expert of these. He cooks about, I don't know, one or two of these a week. Now, I do not claim to be the expert on them, um, but I will try. So supposedly, right, Ben? Just fork, and you take it, and you go through, and you just scoop it all out. And you can see it's a little stringy. Now Ben walks around like, and just eats it out of the bowl. That is, of course, the acorn squash. And essentially, it's, you know, it looks a little bit like a sweet potato. And we have another half to do. Essentially, you know, that's what you get. describe that it's like it's not as it's not as sweet as a sweet potato but it still has that consistency all right so that was that guy so here's the uh, spaghetti squash and you can see it does come out looking like spaghetti check that out that's weird that's awesome isn't it so that is why they call it spaghetti squash and this is how you eat that. You can also season it afterwards. We had a lot of butter and uh, olive oil in there. So that's essentially how that is done. These are, um, we also uh, make baby food out of this stuff. Yes, we make ba my wife and I do make baby food out of acorn squash and spaghetti squash. And I'll taste this for you guys. I've never had it before. I can't even describe that flavor, but it's awesome. Um, it's kind of cucumbery. I don't know. It's kind of cucumbery. But yeah. But uh, the way my wife and I make baby food is we cut them up like this. Okay. Cook them uh, 400 degrees for about an hour. 
And what we'll do is we will take the skin off, we will put it in our food processor, and we will um, ooh, excuse me, grind it up, puree it, uh, and we'll put it in the fridge. We actually put them in uh, ice cube trays uh, in the freezer, and we freeze them, and then they're ready. We give them about one or we give them about two or three cubes, and he loves it. Uh, but yes, our doctor said it was okay to uh, cook the baby food and make our own baby food. So that is essentially how we make our baby food, a little side note. I didn't plan on talking about that, but since my son showed up, I wanted to tell you guys about it. Okay, so here is how our romaine heart turned out. It's awesome. You can eat this any way you want. I always just take, cut them up. Mm. Tastes just like you think it was, just like a Roman heart. Got a little bit of that smoke on it, but it is so good. And that's a cool thing to impress your friends with. Okay, did you guys see how the carrots turned out? This is another cool thing to show your friends. They got some great color on them because of the searing kit. We also did some onions on the searing kit. 500 degrees. These were on there for about 20 minutes, 10 minutes a side. Mm. Super easy. Don't overthink it. There's my corn. Uh, we also did some Brussels sprouts. If you guys want to see, grilling a Brussels sprout really brings out that nutty flavor in it. Again, on this one, I really didn't do it, but the way we prep the Brussels sprouts, is you'll take off the stem. We uh, rolled them in uh, extra virgin olive oil, sprinkled that Ben's heifer dust. You can do salt and pepper, that's fine. Um, but these are you know, just like nutty little cabbages. They're awesome. And they're great for you. Also did, you guys see some peaches. Grilling any kind of fruit really brings that sugar out in it. Look at that sugar just dripping. That's not, um, syrup or anything. That's just the natural sugars in that peach. I'm dripping out of there. Again, grilling them really brings that natural flavor out in them. There's our potatoes. Like I said, 45 minutes at 400 degrees. We cubed them up. I don't know, they're about quarter size. I'm sprinkling them with that cold and freaking Greek. They were awesome. Monday, Friday, Vegetable Friday, baby. Um, if Beth watching... Mosley Carnes checking in. Hey, Beth. Thank you for letting us hang out at your house, shooting that show. It was awesome. And thank you for breakfast, Beth. I, I, don't, I can't remember if I thanked you. I'm sure I did, but I'm going to thank you again. Thank you so much for breakfast that day. It was awesome. Um, and then if you guys watched Meat Sweats, they cooked jalapeno poppers yesterday. I took it a step further. Um, they had smaller jalapenos. Uh, I went to the store and I got larger ones. I cut them in half. We put some cream cheese on the inside. Some of those small cocktail wieners like they had. And then me, I wrapped these in bacon. Um, 45 to 50 minutes and 400 degrees. And they come out awesome. I usually let them cool down a little bit because uh, they're a little bit easier to eat. Um, and they taste just a little bit better when they're not so hot. So. But the heat from the jalapeno, the sweet from the cream cheese, the smokiness from that little cocktail wiener, and then the fat from the bacon, I mean, all together, it's amazing. It's a great uh, tailgate thing. It's a great thing to uh, take to any party. Anybody can do it. Matt, anybody out there have any questions or anything? Not a lot of shout outs. <coughs> A lot. We got Washington. Randy Davis has got a, tons of okra. Yeah. Joel and Adam Doolittle calls it okri. Yeah, me too. Me too. I just everybody was laughing at me this morning when I was calling it okri. Diamond Dave is gonna send uh, John Dillon Jr. a, a flask. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thanks, Dave. We'll put a little <laughs> bit of that juice in there. Scruffy Dog was a little 
Scruffy Harsh Burger. It's a little salty. We didn't have meat today, but there's your meat right there's there, your bud. Meat. There you meat, Scruff. Sorry, buddy. But these, uh, if you guys, these little cherry tomatoes. The uh, <clears throat> the heat really brings out the sweet in them. Uh, 400 degrees uh, until they start um, until they start wrinkling up, and then pull them off. I mean, it tastes just like a cherry. It really, really does. Oh. So good. So to, this Monday Friday was dedicated to nothing but vegetables. We just try to be healthy. Uh, following our boy AB's footsteps, he's already lost a lot of weight. Uh, if you haven't, um, if you didn't know, uh, Ray uh, has got him on a weight loss journey. So we're gonna follow him soon. I uh, just wanted to send a shout out to everybody who's been watching. I also want to remind you about the Rec Tech Academy. May 3rd, 4th, 5th, and 6th here in uh, Evans, Georgia. Get your tickets now because they are going fast. We also want to remind you that Meat Sweats, our weekly sports show, is on every Thursday at 2 p.m. Uh, the boys um, they do picks, football picks, and it's the easiest way to win a 6-8. Absolutely, the easiest way. You win one week, you're entered in for a chance to win a 6-8. Right now, we're gonna do our uh, giveaway. We wanna give away our new spices. Excuse me, Matt's getting all close, I'm, get, I'm all sweaty. Uh, we're gonna give away our new spices. Uh, we want you to go now to our website, rectechgrills.com. Do not go to Google and type in Rectech Grills. It will, you will not uh, have the best chance of winning. Type in rectechgrills.com in your browser. Go to our website and look for a pumpkin. Look for a pumpkin. Uh, put the pumpkin in your cart. And it's gonna, uh, you're gonna pay a dollar for it, and it's gonna be free shipping, and you win a, a new spice bundle of all of our spices. So go to our website, type in your browser, rectechgrills.com. It'll pop up. Like I said, it'll be a little bit quicker than Google if you just type it in your browser, and you'll have a chance of winning that. Man. But today, with American Beer Day, how about that crazy football game last night? Thir uh, Thursday night football, 40 to nothing. And Joe Flacco got taken out in like the first or second quarter. Um, and then the backup quarterback just came and just started pounding them last night. So uh, it was a fun football game to watch. Uh, watch out for that World Series. Um. <laughs> Sneaking. A shout out uh, to the uh, Houston Astros. I'm a National League guy, uh, but I'm not a Dodgers fan, so I'm rooting for the Astros. My boy Evan Gaddis, Brian McCann. Uh, Evan Gass is the DH slash catcher. Brian McCann is the catcher of uh, the Astros. Both of those were former Braves. I'm a huge Braves fan, uh, so I'm always, always, always going to support my boys. Uh, no matter what team they play for, uh, if they play for the Braves once, they're my people. So Charlie Morton. Charlie Morton. Uh, former Braves. That's right, former Braves. Um, but that's all. Uh, shout out to uh, Ray Carnes. He's out there hunting. Hopefully he'll get us some deer meat. We'll be able to cook some venison for you here pretty soon. Uh, we've got plenty of hamburger, but I'm really looking for some back straps. Um, we did, remember we did the uh, tenderloins for the pork, essentially back straps into deer. Uh, so, but I think that's everything on my board. Shout out to the Very Vera Show again. Thank you, Vera Stewart, for allowing us to shoot the show with you. Shout out to Lane's Barbecue. You guys check them out, lanesbbq.com. Uh, my boy Diamond Dave. Let me see if Dave has got a website. Where's his card at? Dave got a website? Dave does not have a website, but he does have an email. He posted it in the comments Oh, already. cool. Oh, yeah. IntegrityGoldJewelers.com. IntegrityGoldJewelers.com. Thank you, Dave. You the man. Uh, shout out to my boy, Carl Casanova, Ernest Cervantes. They're competing in the Jack Daniels Open. He's got farts. Nice. But. <laughs> but. Uh, but it was a little bit of a long show today. Uh, sorry, guys, we couldn't go out to the grill. But I wanted to go ahead and have it prepared for you. That way you can actually see it, uh, see it plated, uh, and see my reaction to how good it does taste. Um, just because we don't have meat doesn't mean it doesn't taste good. Uh, everything was awesome. Remember, about 400 degrees for about an hour on most stuff, uh, unless you wanted to put it on the searing kit and put the char marks on it. Uh, the searing kit always works great at 500 degrees or above. 500 degrees or above on that searing kit. Um, but don't be afraid to try any new vegetables. Um, remember, vegetables are kind of cheap, so you know it's not as, as expensive as meat. So you kind of you can kind of play around with it. Um, if you guys like this apron that I'm wearing, go to rectechgrills.com. If you like this cool hat that I'm wearing, go to rectechgrills.com. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please call us here at the office. Uh, 855-696-0890. Ask for Connor. Ask for Connor always. Uh, um, ben, you got anything?
Oh. Trey, you got anything? Hey, ain't nobody bought the spice bottle yet? Y'all go to our website, rectechgirls.com. Look for the pumpkin. Put that in your cart. That is the sauce and spice. That is the spice bundle. You pay a dollar for it, you'll get it for free. One doll hair. A dollar. I'm gonna eat some more of the spaghetti squash. Would you guys be careful on Halloween Tuesday? Be careful. There's gonna be a lot of kids around. Um, Dang. That spaghetti squash is so good. Oh, Ben said, uh, add some alf uh, mix that spaghetti squash in with some Alfredo and shrimp. It's amazing. That sounds really good. Mm. But guys, really try this broccoli and cauliflower. I'm telling you, a lot of folks around the office did not like broccoli and cauliflower. They tried it, they liked it just because it's got that crunch and flavor on it. Um, Mitch Thompson, congratulations, Mitch Thompson. You just got that spice bundle for a dollar. But from everyone here at Rectech Grills, Ben, Trey, Rachel, Olivia, Matt, uh, George, Connor, AB, uh, who else is here today? Happy birthday, Travis. Adam! Happy birthday, Adam! Happy birthday! Uh, to the boys in the warehouse, from Ray Cars, from Ron Cundy, from everybody here, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I know today was long. Uh, we are. Again, we are really humbled by all of the thank you cards that we get every week and all of the all of the stuff that you guys send us. It's absolutely unnecessary, but it's so cool that you guys send us stuff. I mean, we get all kinds of stuff sent to us every week just from our fans, and man, we are fans of you guys. You're part of our family. We love you. Uh, if you ever need anything, do not hesitate to call us here at the office, okay? Thank you so much. Have a great Friday. Have an even better Halloween. Uh, I'll see you at the Rec Tech next week. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's enough. That's enough.